Welcome to Quick Pro, your friendly ally to learn tally. He I am Sunil, a tally learner at Quick Pro. At Quick Pro, I discovered how to learn tally the easy and quick way. Before joining Quick Pro, I did not even know how to open tally. I was also scared of accounts. Now I can confidently use tally not just to write accounts. I can also easily generate various reports correctly and instantly. Various types of financial, stock and payroll reports. For myself, my seniors, my auditor, my banker, my tax and other authorities. This is an actual recording of my tally learning. I sincerely wish all you tally learners can benefit from my quick pro story. This session about company creation in tally will take an hour. It consists of various multimedia sessions mixed with revision quizzes. To go further, keep solving each quiz. Based on your final quiz course, you can also win a quick pro scholarship for the complete course of tally ERP 9. Sir, my name is Krishna Prasad. I am working for My Products Immigration Consultants as a executive sales. And uh, I have been asked to take up the job of uh, uh, maintaining the petty cash expense, uh, the day-to-day -day accounting. Prior to joining this Tally Quick Pro course, uh, had you operated Tally software? Uh, yes, I have operated Tally software. Uh, Tally Yes, I have been into many uh, like classes, maybe into uh, these are into workshops. 
that's all right. Uh, what did happen to you know? Uh, like uh, most of the times we need to sit uh, idly and we have to listen that. And sometimes to be very honest, we feel drowsy and all. Uh, but it didn't happen over here because it was quite interactive. Uh, the instructor was uh, like very much communicating. That I'd like to talk about it. And I'm looking forward to that. Hi sir, this is Tejas Vini. I'm, I'm from SGR College and I'm a commerce student, BA ECS. My experience about, about Tally was awesome. Uh, I, the first day itself when I started learning Tally, I, I loved it. Yeah, Tally Quick Pro, I loved it. So now, now when I learn many things, I'm very excited to use it. So if I get any field or uh, any field to apply it or to do it, every, uh, how much I learn to my best extent, I think I can do it. Sir, I feel joining Tally. I have learnt a lot, sir. And when I can help my uh, fathers and business. Now. I teach you the next vouchers. Right now I have taught you Contra, Payment and Receipt. Contra, I am still having uh, some doubts about Contra. The situation in which to make Contra vouchers. Like you are depositing cash from bank, uh, depositing cash in bank or withdrawing cash from bank. Okay. So go for Contra here. If you are depositing cash in the bank, so select your bank. So right now bank ledger we are not having. Having. You have to create a bank ledger. So okay. shortcut key I told you. What is the shortcut key for the creation? Shortcut key for creation. Creating the ledger. Creating the... It is Alt C. Okay. Okay, here you have to create that then bank also. Bank and the bank account. It is not given in this shortcut key. No, in this okay. it's not given. What is this demo shortcut key is called on the right hand side? F3 and all the F these things. These are not working right now. Okay. No, what I mean is what is that called? This is called Alt C. This Alt C doesn't come here. It's no, this one uh, from here we can go to groups. Okay. See if I click or control G groups, yeah. you can go for the group creation. Okay, okay. So similar there must be, no, now you said Alt C. There must be some no, provision. They haven't given it. Oh yet. they haven't given the provision. No. Press or C bank bank and the bank account. Mm. So here now your list of ledgers account bank and cash. In contra entry you can see only bank and cash, nothing ledgers. If you have already created other ledgers also, you can't get all these ledgers. You get oh. only bank and cash. Okay. Okay, so you are paying, depositing in bank, what you are depositing? Cash. Okay. So here also cash in bank is coming. Mm. Select cash, deposit the amount. Suppose I am withdrawing cash from bank. So here, cash, here bank. Okay, okay. So what do we write uh, in this single entry mode, what is to be written in this portion, in account portion? Means how you are doing the means through cash or check mm -hmm. what you are using for making the payments for using the receipts mm -hmm. that one you have to do it so what i mean is now in this case we are seeing two cash transactions one is withdrawal and one is deposit where you are depositing his what bank. is in the bank okay so here you are depositing in bank in next is we are withdrawing cash mm -hmm. so you have to what you are withdrawing cash mm -hmm. 